Hello everyone, welcome to WinGeek. Today we are here with a common fix that every one of you face very often. If you are facing blue screen of death, which is also known as BSOD crash, including kernel auto boost lock acquisition with raised IRQL, trust me, you are not alone who face the error. And it is a solvable issue, so there is no need to worry. In fact, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the error. So let's get started. First up, we're going to disk check through our command prompt. So in order to go to command prompt, we're going to click on Windows button and then we're going to type down CMD. Make sure to run it as administrator. So click on run as administrator, give it permission, yes. Now we are going to type down CHKDSK. C. So as you can see guys, our disk checking has been started and the progress bar is now being shown. So now you're going to have to wait until the progress is completed. So as you can see guys, our disk scanning is completed. So after the disk scanning is completed, we're going to close this window. Now we're going to have to make sure that our drivers are totally up to date. So we're going to go to Windows settings, press Windows plus I button, and then go to update and security on the bottom left corner. Maybe it will not be in the bottom left corner, but make sure you found Windows Updates. So here is Windows Update, and we're going to click on Check for Updates. So after clicking Check for Updates, it will now check for updates on the web. Make sure you have a stable internet connection, because you will need it. So as you can see guys, we have some updates here, and we're going to have to wait until the update is downloaded and installed in the device properly. So until we wait, we're going to move to the further steps and minimize this window because the updates are necessary. Sometimes an external hard drive is responsible for an error like this. On the other hand, if you have Bluetooth adapters or wireless adapters, then they can also be responsive for these kind of errors. So make sure you remove all of them and then try to run your PC smoothly so that you will be able to realize that they are causing the problem or not. Now after doing all these things, there is only one thing that you can do to save your device, which is System Restore. So let's go ahead and go to System Restore. As you can see, after clicking System, we have a recovery option here, so we're going to click the recovery. Then we're going to select the second option, which is Open System Restore. So go ahead and open it, System Restore. And as you can see, System Protection is turned off to turn it back on that you call System Restore, Configure System Protection. So we're going to go ahead and configure that. And here you'll have to select on Turn on System Protection, go ahead and apply, click OK, and then we're going to click on OK again. So after that we're going to click on System Restore from here, and then we're going to select Next. We have a system backup image at the moment which was 10 days ago, so we can go ahead and select that. And the message pops up, the backup drive could not be found, System Restore is looking to restore point, make sure you backup drive and connect to this computer, then click OK. But if I click OK, the computer will restart and the video will stop, so I'm not going to do that right now, but you guys go ahead and click OK in order to start your System Restore. And we're going to go on and check our Windows update that was in progress. As you can see, we had two things that was upgrading, and now we have only one program that is being updated. So now we're going to have to wait a few moments for the updates to be completed. So wait patiently and let the update be done. After that, if it requires a restart, then restart your device, and your device's problem will be solved. So guys, if your problem is solved after watching this video, then please do give a thumbs up. And if you still have the problem, uh, please do let us know down below in the comment section. And subscribe to our channel for more great tips and fixes like these. Until we meet again next time, stay safe and take care.